oh that's hot so good morning i hope everyone is doing really well we are now week two of lockdown which uh, i'm gonna be completely honest i did i'm just gonna do my skincare whilst i talk to you so i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not feeling like 100 percent great about it i had such a good week last week that i thought you know this whole like lockdown thing was going to be an absolute doddle and it was going to be so much easier than i thought but then realistically that just hasn't happened <laughs> you know i um i spend quite a lot of time at home anyway so i did presume that it was literally just going to be how like my normal life is and just the freedom of not being able to go out is just really like it does play on your mind like a lot i've had quite a stressful week this week in regards to work um the fact that i have lost a whole business plan and i'm having to redo that all for the end of may is you know it's just another thing that is on my list of things to do which i could actually have done with not being able to do so i don't know i did i started the vlog off kind of like it just seemed a bit too like heavy i don't know i don't know i mean i don't really know how to explain it i don't want my channel to be negative but i also want to show when I do struggle, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want, I, don't, I wanna be, I wanna show like transparency. And I thought that was me like showing transparency, trans, transparency. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, it was like seven minutes long of me just kind of like explaining like what had gone wrong. But then I also didn't mention what has gone right. And you know, the stuff that, you know i've obviously included in today's vlog which i've been like really happy about i'm now starting to learn how to cope with the situation now i've accepted that we're going to probably be in lockdown for quite a long time so i'm trying my hardest to try and embrace it the problem is with social media it puts so much pressure on people's lives that don't need to be like I said at the beginning of lockdown that I was going to learn a new language and I was going to get really into my fitness again and you know I was going to start building a routine ready for when we're out of lockdown and I feel like the pressure has got to me to the point where I don't want to do anything so I don't know I say I don't know a lot but it's just one of those things i've put the language thing to bed i just think i've got too much on my plate enough as it is coming up with deadlines and being able to come up with content because i want to do two videos a week again the only reason why i didn't do two videos last week was just because i didn't have a camera so now that i have a camera and I've, i'm starting to get more of my kit and just like more like ideas like i want to go back to two videos a week so let me go, let me know which day you would like me to do during the week i always just gravitate towards thursday just because it's at the end of the week but let me know if you think that like tuesday is a really good day or even monday like let me know um because i want to make sure that if if i can make a difference by posting content and letting people escape for like 10 to like 15 minutes like per day I'm 100% happy with that. I love creating content. Like it's the only thing that's kind of really distracted me from the situation. So let me know if anything you want me to do, like in the comments and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little bit, like in the vlog, to basically just explain that, like I haven't had the best of weeks, but I also haven't had the worst. So in this vlog, you will obviously see funner stuff you know like I did baking with my sister and you know we walked the dog and like Frankie's in the vlog and stuff so I just wanted to kind of put it out there that although it might seem short I mean I don't know because I haven't edited it yet but it's okay to have a bad day and I feel like I was crucifying myself 
for having a bad day which made me have an even worse day the following day but yeah so just take the time out and look after yourself like that's the main thing that i need to take away from this lockdown is learning to look after myself and to slow down i am so fast paced when it comes to anything i like to do things like go 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 like i don't like to stop whereas like this time in lockdown i'm a i'm still allowed to you know be as like i'm still allowed to be as high pace as i'd like but then i'm also allowing myself to have like two days off at the weekend where i don't do any work so it's, it's it's about finding that balance but let me know in the comments below what you're doing for lockdown don't if it, even if it's nothing just say nothing and you know what i'll probably praise you a lot more because social media is wild and it makes you think a certain way when that's not the case but yes i could really do with a haircut i'm not gonna lie like my front kind of like panels that i have here what at my chin oh well this well i suppose it's a lot but the thing that annoys me about having this type of hairstyle is the fact that it it just hangs in front of my face so i always have to tuck them behind my ears and then when i do want them like out from under my ears it has a kink in it so i'm thinking about getting a new hairstyle obviously i won't do it until my hairdresser kirsty does it because i don't trust myself with my hair but i think i'm gonna look at hairstyles today even if i just change the part in like once in a while i just i don't know this lockdown's making me want to change my hair and, but yeah i don't know just one of those things so yeah i'm just gonna finish my cup of tea and then i'll probably go downstairs as you can see i've got no bedding on because i'm gonna do i'm gonna wash my bedding today i might do some cleaning as well cleaning always makes me feel like better so i don't know do i it's annoying because whenever i film in my room i don't have any nice backdrops so i did think about changing my room up a bit so that might possibly be a task but i like the way it's laid out if there's just so much stuff so i might just i might do like time lapsey organizing bit of my room but we will see i'm not holding any promises because my mind might change but that's okay because we're learning to do that in lockdown we're learning to know that if a plan doesn't go to plan it doesn't matter there's another day but yeah i'll check in with you next time this is not a good start to the vlog, is it? Can you go and find your ball, please? Where's your ball? Come on. Come on. Go and get your ball. Frankie decided to play with the new fresh towel. Come on. And then we'll introduce the vlog properly, shall we? Right, should we say hello to the vlog properly? Come on then. Look. Gonna say hello, Frankie. Don't you go acting camera shy now? You asked me to get the camera out. Oh, you're gonna show everybody your ball, right? Should we show them our tricks? Good boy, Paul. Good boy, ready? Ooh. So currently today, oh yeah, he's absolutely ruined the throw as well been my whole life doing that we have one squeaky ball two squeaky ball that's what i put his treats in um i feel like i don't know if i've mentioned that or anyway um he's got a big donut he has a hot dog and then he has his football and i'm in christmas socks lockdown week two it's going very very well isn't it darling come on say hello to the vlog <laughs> okay so the hair is up because i'm in business so i'm actually going to be making myself like a like late breakfast early lunch so i thought i don't know where the frying pan is i thought i'd treat myself to a bacon and egg sandwich because i haven't had one in literally the longest time so the bacon that i'm going to be using look at my little leg well, I say little, it's actually quite large if you think about it. But um, yeah, the bacon I'm going to be using is the reduced fat unsmoked bacon medallions because you know it's a treat, but also you know a little bit healthy, a little bit healthy. 
so I am just going to use some vegetable oil just because I like my bacon crispy. Oh! Hello! Can you stop grinning me when I'm in the middle of a vlog? Sorry. I'm in vlog. Boom! Oh, now you look at me. I've literally just been calling his name for like five minutes. And the minute he hears the noise. Frankie. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Is he camera? Is he camera? Hello. You are so beautiful. Right, so I think the time has come that I'm going to sort my room out. It's annoying because I don't know what to do with my room. Apart from just like organise like boxes and stuff. Because I quite like the layout of it. Like if I just give you like a pan. Like obviously like everything just needs organising. But, you know, I don't really have much to utilise with. I've got um, my brother's spare mattress there. But I quite like it as a shelf. But, like, I don't know. It just doesn't look very nice, like, in the vlogs and stuff. So, I'm going to probably do, like, a little time lapse of me organising my room. But I can't imagine it changing too much, apart from just, like, organising. But yeah, so I will do the time lapse. Now. So this always happens every time that I go through my room. I always go through the stuff under my bed and this is my year eight art book. Like, who is she? Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because like isn't it crazy just like school like that was my homework like what is that all about oh how to develop your fish tank drawing skills oh my god this is so funny and then these are all my college books I think so paper which is actually quite useful so I'm going to keep that out so this was my first ever college course I done so I did art and design and oh god look at the level up I mean granted I did not draw the eye I think Carmen Carmen done that one but yeah like this is when I first kind of realized that I I needed to have a career in <laughs> like it's crazy let's open it up a bit more of course Andy Warhol like oh this was my first ever sample using a sewing machine I did a little drawing oh my god this is so cool I just love going through stuff like I'm such a hoarder of like special stuff This was when I realised it was, oh it doesn't have a date on it, standard, but this was where I really kind of like grew my love into fashion. Apparently disco pants are unisex, <laughs> didn't know that. Um. Oh my god, I think I did a Scott, yes. Oh, I remember I, I drew this because, oh my, what was it? I'm trying to think what the actual project was. That's my evaluation. Is that it of that one? Oh my god, it is. Oh, yeah, so this, was, this would have been my second book because my FMP was fashion. 
Oh, that's really cool. And then, oh, that's my Year 11 Maths folder. Oh, I'm trying to think which one came first. I think it was this one. So this was, not them. So this was my first year of fashion and textiles, I think. Might, I think it might, be, might have been second year, actually. Oh my God. Today's gentleman. Wow. I love doing collages. Collages was, were literally like my favorite thing to do. Suits. And all my samples. I'm trying to, I did a male score for my white project here. Yeah, so I came up with a male score. <laughs> I don't know if I've got any pictures in here actually. I think I've got a picture on my blog. Because this is when, it was this time that I decided I wanted to go into like the blogging and like YouTube world, but I was so scared to do a YouTube channel. Oh my God, yeah, I remember that. <gasps> and then this one oh, is literally just like falling apart. What, what was this one? I'm trying to remember. Decay. Oh, so this project um, went into Norwich Fashion Week. Oh. Hang on, let me see if I can get my final design up. Buff and binder. Yeah, so this was my final design. And I've also, I think I've got a picture of that somewhere as well. So if I can find it, I'll insert a picture on screen. But yeah, oh my God. And then it got put in the newspaper as well. I literally love that so much. Oh, what a trip down memory lane. This piece of wire is really getting on my nerves. We're gonna be doing some cooking now. So. I was originally gonna do this on my own, but I'm actually gonna have my sister help me as well. I'm gonna be making my own butterfly cupcakes, and then my sister is gonna be making chocolate brownies. She does these chocolate and raspberry, like cupcake things, which are really good. But how cute are these little cupcake tins? They've got unicorns on. Come on, focus. Oh, anyway, they've got a rainbow on the bottom and then they've got unicorns on the top. So I'm going to do that and then I was going to follow a recipe online but my sister basically just said like, don't use that one. My sister's got her own cake business as well so I will leave her Instagram down below if you're in the Norwich and Norfolk area and you want some cupcakes making or even like brownies, you can literally do anything. We're going to be making a bacon. <laughs>
they look really small in their cases. Yeah, but then you can just puff them out so it's hard. This is what they look like. Where's the polka dot cases going? Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to use this little like piping tube thing. I'll just cut them out with a knife because they're probably going to be too small if you use them. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it's circular. Can I use this one? Yeah, and you're an artiste. <laughs> you should be able to draw a circle. Are these going to work if they're warm? No. Should I wait? Yes. Okay. I'm going to wait. When they're cool down, then we'll decorate. Right, I'm trying not to make it all fall out, but I'm not doing too bad. You just need to remember what one came from which cupcake? Yeah, that's all right. Ta-da! Right, I've actually put the little bits that I've cut out in order, so I don't forget. Ta-da! So it looks a bit like this. And then I've put the bits in order, as you can see. That one's crumbled into a thousand pieces, so. Love that. So with two, I'm gonna put it in the little hole. So it's like that. Cut the circle in half and make little wings. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. The effort was there. <laughs> So they're starting to look a little bit like this. I don't understand why I thought I wasn't going to have enough, but I've got loads. So now I'm going to cut the wings in half. I mean, they aren't very wing-like, but... <laughs> oh, these look so cute! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make butterfly cakes. I'm just going to put some of these on a chopping board. So I can take an Instagram picture of them. <coughs> oh my God, how cute. Oh, I'm so happy with them. Ta da! Right, now I just. Now I just need to do the really boring stuff and wash up. But to be fair, we were quite good. We did wash up as we went along. So I just need to wash up the icing bowl and that kind of thing, and then we are done. So it's actually now Sunday. I've just walked the dog to the shop, hence why I'm out of breath. But I just thought I would end the vlog here, just because I don't want it to be too long. I mean, let me know in the comments if you think this is like the right amount of time. I'm still kind of testing out how short and how long I want them to be. But if you enjoyed this vlog, then like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.